Hello beer buffs, today I have Small Finn from Rough House Brewing and it's a Saison Farmhouse Ale, so happy fishing, eh? <laughs> Take me to the river, drop me in the water. Remember that old big, big mouth Billy Bass and he used to sing, take me to the water and he had a big old mouth like that old fishy, yeah? <laughs> so anyway, let's get a pour on, shall we? Just had a bit of rain, a bit of a storm came through. So I thought I'd hold back a minute and then get out here. I have to do one down the creek again soon, that'll be fun. But, hey. And I chill my glass. I picked this up from my favourite specs today and uh, listen to Kyle's advice and do more of a tilt on my paw. I should be laughing, eh? Look at that, eh? Perfect. Cheers, Kyle. Me dear. Um, oh, it's a lovely colour, isn't it? It's a uh, dry hop tail with Simcoe, Amarillo and Citra hops. Um, so we shall see, let's have a smell, so it'll be, I was going to say, will it smell hoppy, it just smells really kind of farmhousey, you know, that kind of sourish kind of vibe to it. Oof. Bang, that is a hop fest in taste. Can you hear that? The fenders are rumbling up there. It's still storming. Um, that is hop overload. Bitter. I'm, I mean, I was thinking this is going to be really a fruity little number when I first smelt it. But that is a real big hop kick right there. Super, super hoppy and super, super bit. Bit, super bit. Super bitter. It's not a super bit computer, is it? But yeah, mm, I don't know. Maybe a little too hoppy, but you know, I always say this and then I get into it a little bit. So um, I love the artwork, that's kind of cool. And a lot of their cans are kind of like they, this, you know? Um, oh, percentage wise, it's a 4.9%. So not crazy, crazy. Uh, and um, yeah, extra hoppy as they describe it, which I can absolutely vouch for. And like I say, it's um, Rough House Brewing. Now, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just too old, hoppy overload for me. No, it's 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 calming down. I would say, calm down, calming down a little bit. So um, it's getting there. Um, yeah, as I say, uh, Rough House Brew Brewing. I've been there before. I went with Steve Nose a few years back now. It's in San Marcos, which is kind of uh, in between San Antonio and Austin to the north on geography. It's a um, little town, a uh, nice town. I know this place is out on a uh, on an acreage. The whole of governor I like that. A good old acreage out in the in the sticks a little bit. A big old. Um, ranch and uh, it's just not in San Marcos itself so but nice little place friendly folk very farmhousey in itself so hence the farmhouse sales and they do specialize in farmhouse sales and that's what they here you go um it's a family-run brewery in Texas Hill Country making farmhouse ales and cave aged wild ales um and of excuse me well as of spring 2021, they're making oak fermented lagers. Ooh, have to look out for some of those. Um, yeah, so they've been going since January 2019. Can't remember when we went. It must have been 2019, probably in the summer. So uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, there's a lot of gamf. Have a look at their website. It's on a 50 acre ranch. It's a family ranch and yeah as i say in san marcus so 
when they say San, you know, these towns, they mean a lot of the outlying areas as well. These these towns get pretty darn big, uh, <laughs> encompassing the surrounding countryside. Um, yeah, so have a look. They are open all week if you're in that neck of the woods. Uh, Monday through, man, yeah, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, open all week. So check out the hours and have a look. As for this bad boy, I'm starting to enjoy a bit more now. I'm starting to feel a bit, pull a bit more of the flavors here. Yeah. And the bitterness is, you know, the more you get into it, big old plane up there, the bit more you get into it, the bitterness doesn't really hit you in the face slap you with a fish so to speak in the face you know but yeah not too bad uh so anyway let's give you a couple of beers that they do i try to filter out it's like when you kind of go through this farmhouse 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 loads of pharmacists but they do a few others so i'll list a few of those they do an ipa called a uh, tree form cool little artwork again beautiful kind of same style um, fair play to the artist who designed these cans. Uh, oh, I never noticed that detail. Look, there's the fish, but then there's the lure, and it's a little hop. It's a tiny little hop. So, oh, well, actually, is a bigger version there. <laughs> Staring me in the face. Cool, eh? Uh, yeah, small fin. Um, so, yeah, the tree form is the IPA. So, that's one to look out for. Uh, they do a table beer, whatever that may be, and that's a rare merit, it's called. Same artwork again, it's cool. Uh, they got a pilsner called just simply Rough House Pilsner. There you go. Um, there is a stout, one for the season, eh? Uh, and that is called Shaky Graves Stout. I wonder who old Shaky Graves was. I like the name. Looks like uh, there's a ghost on the picture and he's playing a guitar or something so i'll have to look out for that um and they also do a strong ale called good grief so there you go a few different ones there for you to uh wet your whistle on if you get a chance as for me i don't know um it's not really jumping out for me this one nice enough do you know it really does it really does capture that triple hop hoppiness to it so in that respect they've done a good job but uh for me you know i'm gonna round this off to a good solid seven for this uh guy they've uh they've done their job so to speak so anyway uh that's it from me today i will bid you a happy wednesday and i will see you all soon so Tara.